Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys for everyone. It's beautiful world and if you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, again, walking and talking on the beach in Phuket, Thailand. Very beautiful beach here in Phuket, guys. Talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Today, five amazing Bitcoin charts. A beautiful trading tip on a chart pattern. Of course, a travel tip. Of course, talking about the ledger hack that I saw in the news today. And yes, also giving you, of course, some live advice. Let's quickly jump into the charts to first look if we can break 44K again or that we go fall back to 40K again. Let's see what the charts have to say. The first chart for today, guys, is this beautiful four hour chart. Yes, you can see that we are still in that long that we opened. Of course, there was a huge wake of that red candle over there, but the body closed above the yellow stepping line. So there was no fear over there when it comes to um, trading Bitcoin in the short term. Where are we going? You can see on the right side of this chart that there is a lot of resistance around that 43K level. So we need to break that 43 level before we can continue to 44K, guys. Because if we zoom out on the chart, you can see that at 44K, there is even more resistance. So I believe you are heading towards that 44K level again. It's beautiful Friday. Mostly in the weekend, we get a little bit more volatile. A beautiful push um, would be, of course, welcome in this weekend towards that blue area again on the top with that 44k guys and then we need to push through that that would be a beautiful moment for bitcoin because that would mean we could even reach like 46 to 48k levels before we will see another pullback but let's zoom out and look at the bigger pictures of bitcoin now this is the first one because i got a lot of questions about ethereum this week in my dms so i'm going to tell you now exactly what i think for me bitcoin is always king but if I need to be honest and look at the charts since the beginning of November till now, like the 14th of December, we can see that Ethereum has been outperforming Bitcoin. That red line is the performance of um, Ethereum and that blue line is the performance of Bitcoin. So the return performance, so which means like the return on investment. On the left side, you will see the percentages and on the bottom, you will see the dates. So we can see that Ethereum on most days has been outperforming Bitcoin. So yes, Ethereum is also a good bet if you want to multiply your capital. But for me, Bitcoin is the only decentralized asset out there that I fully believe in as being the king. So for me, Bitcoin is the king. If we look at this chart, we can see that the Bitcoin price history in the log scale is showing us that every time again, we form these cups. And every time during the bear market, when we get to the deepest part of that cup filled with water, that is where you should be accumulating Bitcoin. That's when I told you to accumulate Bitcoin around 16K, 17K, 18K, 19K and 20K. Now we are almost going near that top of the cup again. That would be at 69K, that cup would be completed. You can see this happening every time again and again. And I believe this will happen after the halving. So for me, this is gonna happen somewhere in 2024 probably mid-224 till the end 24 is when we will reach 69k and that cup will be full but if you then look to the left on the chart every time when that cup will be full so when we reach the previous all-time high we get a huge push to a new all-time high every time 12 on the dollar bam to 20k and then again from 20k bam to 70k so the moment we will reach 69k I believe that will be the moment that we get an insane push towards 100k, guys. Beautiful chart. Pause it if you want to analyze it a little bit more. Then we have this chart. This is the Bitcoin supply last active one year plus age bands. The pinkish line is the Bitcoin supply last active one year plus. The orange line two year plus. The green line three year plus and the blue line five year plus. What does that mean? That all the Bitcoins that you can see in this blue line haven't been active for five years or more. The green line, three years or more. We can see now that since the top of 2021, there was not a sell-off in these wallets. The lines all keep crawling up little bit by little bit. The yellow line, the two year plus, that increased tremendously. But the green and the blue line and the pinkish line, they slowly increased. We can now see a small decrease in the pinkish line so that's the one year plus, that's the people that are taking profit, that's the short term traders. But the blue line, five year plus, that one is taking an uptake. That now just jumped to 31.4%. Beautiful chart to see that people start to trust Bitcoin more and more. 
they are not willing to sell. They are not even willing to move their Bitcoins. They will keep their Bitcoins in their same cold storage wallet for five years and longer, or for three years and longer. Beautiful, these numbers look completely different in 2017. At that moment, there were not many people holding Bitcoins for five years or three years. Amazing chart, pause the video to analyze it more. Then we have this important chart, the Bitcoin percent supply and profit. We can see in the years on the bottom, we can see the Bitcoin price on the right, and we can see the percentage of people in profit on the left. At the moment, we are nearing the level of 90% of people are being in profit. Now, if you look towards the left, every time when we came near those numbers of 90%, that was the start of the second part of that bull market. Every time. You can see it over there, completely in 2013, when we reached 90% with that orange line, second part of the bull market. When we reached around 90% in 2016, that was the second part of the huge bull market in 2017. And yes, when we reached that pinkish area on top, that should be the area that you start to really notice Bitcoin and really pay attention to when to exit the market. But as you can see on this chart, we can hover around that level for a long period of time, even up to one year. In it, out it, in it, out it. Now, also in 2020, guys, when we reached that 90% of profit level, that is when the second part of the bull market started. That is when we pushed the price all the way up to that 70K. So this line is very important at the moment because we are reaching that 90% level again for the first time now during this bull market. So this is an indication for me that we are going to go soon into that second phase of the bull market, which will be that beautiful bull market run all the way up to first break at 69k previous stop and then even maybe all the way up to 100k and higher to make a new all-time high in bitcoin amazing chart then we have this chart this one is showing the supply and profit and loss of course it's just visual it's just showing you exactly the opposite the blue line is going up the red line is going up, down so we can see that the blue line yes more and more bitcoins are in profit so almost 18 million Bitcoins are now in profit and we can see that almost zero Bitcoins are now in loss. That's the pinkish line. So this is the supply, not the percentage, but this is the supply, the amount of Bitcoins that are in profit. At the moment we will touch that yellow line on the top, that is the moment when that second phase of the bull market, that's the moment that more and more of the supply, almost 100% of the supply then will be in profit. And again, we can touch that line many, many times during that bull market, but there will be a moment again that we will pull back and that less people will be in profit and less Bitcoins will be in profit and more people will be in loss. But I'm here to guide you to when to exit that market in the bull market top, in my honest opinion, in 2025. But you should subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell so you will be notified that you see that video when I tell you to exit the market into stable coins, guys. Then we have the Bitcoin Meyer Multiple. Yes, charting day, beautiful charts today. This Maya multiple shows you every time again and again that when we break that pinkish line with that blue line, that is the moment we have this last part of the bull market top. We are now at the dotted line, just below the 1.6 level. We didn't even break that dotted line. Now look to the left what happened every time when we start to break that dotted line. That is exactly when those pinkish boxes appear on the charts. That is when the purple line crosses that dollar line. And that pinkish box is that massive bull run. Every time. Look to the last time in 2021. That blue line crossing that dollar line, that was the start of the last part of the massive bull run. We are now nearing that dollar line with that blue line again. I can't make it more clear for you guys that you should be buying Bitcoin every day. This is the moment maybe even the last moment possible for you to still join this bull market with these prices around 40,000 US dollar, guys. We will take off and we will be in shitload of profits towards 2025. So please join me on that beautiful rocket to the moon and celebrate together with me all the profits that we will be making in the next 12 to 24 months. Now, 
that was the last chart. We have some big waves today in Phuket, guys. Yes, I hope you really enjoy the charts. Of course, always zooming out in Bitcoin. It's beautiful to look at these short-term plays and to make a little bit of profit. But then I prefer to put a little bit of my uh, portfolio in these uh, small cap altcoins like the ones I shared with you this week. Uh, FMC, that one fame coin went times seven. Garbage went time 2.5, almost three at the moment. So those investments are short-term investments and way more easy to play than uh, trading the Bitcoin chart, for example, guys. Now, uh, zooming out means that you look at the bigger picture. You should be understanding that there will be a halving in April 2024. And from that halving, you've seen over and over and over again, Bitcoin exploding to new all-time highs. That means above 70k. That is a beautiful target. So just understand that and then look at the charts again and then understand that you should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin every day. Just buy a couple of sets every day. And for those that don't know what sets are, sets are the smallest denomination of a Bitcoin. So you have one Bitcoin and you have one set. It's like one dollar and one cent. That's how you see a set. So start to accumulate sets, stacking sets is how they call it in this industry, as much as possible daily. And you can start to stack sets with games that you can play, with doing jobs for crypto, uh, and many other ways possible, guys. So start stacking sets and join this beautiful Bitcoin bull run together with me and all the other Bitcoin family members. Let's quickly jump now into the trading tip. For a trading tip, guys, I'm going to walk up the beach a little bit because there is a lot of noise of the uh, waves over there. And here there's a little bit shadow. It's getting bloody hot and also better quality of the image, guys. For the trading tip of today, guys, I showed another beautiful chart pattern. It is called the rounded bottom. The rounding bottom is a chart pattern that we can see in an uptrend, but also in a downtrend. When we are in an uptrend, and we got down again and we then form this rounding bottom that means we will see a continuation we will go up higher the moment to get in then is when we come down to the rounding bottom line in the middle on the bottom of that cup that is when you get in and you go up again and take the profit over there if you are in a downtrend yes of course also you can have a rounding bottom just look at the image that you have now on the screen you can exactly see what a rounding bottom means these rounding bottoms can happen in an uptrend and in a downtrend but in both situations they mean a continuation or a reversal of the market so if you are on an uptrend rounding and we pull back in a rounding bottom that's a continuation if you are in a downtrend and we are forming a rounding bottom that's a reversal of the market beautiful chart pattern that you all should like put in your brain now forever uh, when i'm walking on the beach just think about a rounding bottom on the beautiful beach not that bottom you know which bottom i mean that bottom that you always refer to as a round booty bottom yes if you see a round booty bottom that's a continuation of a very beautiful day so also a continuation of the market now ezels bruggetje that's how we call it in the netherlands <laughs> I don't even know how to say that in English, guys. Uh, but that was the trading tip for the day. A rounding bottom, beautiful chart pattern to show you if there will be a continuation or a reversal of the market. Let's quickly jump now into the travel tip, guys. The travel tip for today, guys, is a very important one. Whenever you check out, out of a house or a hotel or an apartment, guys, always make sure you have a routine. Because often, Things get lost during the checkout. It's not during any other moment in your travels, but the checkout mostly makes stuff go lost. So when you check out, always have this routine, guys. For example, I always check the bathroom, then we check the beds, then we check below the beds, uh, then we check if we have the laptop, then I check if the external hard drive is there. I check, of course, the Bitcoin, my Bitcoin wallets. I will check all of that stuff before I leave the room. There's a certain routine, to be very honest, I really don't have that routine, but my wife does have the routine. So a man is doing all the checking stuff, but she has a fixed routine. So you will make sure all the drawers are empty, all the corners in the room are inspected, down below the bed is inspected. She will make sure that we have everything that we had before we entered the room again. I always take care about the camera, the iPhones, and all the other goodies that a man needs to create YouTube videos, and she will take care of the rest. But the routine helps you with not losing stuff every time when you check out out of a hotel. And the thing that most people always forget when checking out is leaving their iPhone plug somewhere in the wall. So please, always please check before you leave the room that your iPhone plug 
is taken out of the wall and put in your bag. Yes, because you need to charge your phone again because else you can't watch these YouTube videos. That was the travel tip for the day, guys. Uh, always make sure you have a routine during the checkout out of a hotel, apartment, or house that you rent. Now, let's jump into the next part. And I will turn around because the light is really bright and maybe the camera will perform a little bit better when I film that way, guys. So, let's jump into the next part. And that next part, guys, is of course the news. And the news for today, of course, is the Ledger hack. And it was not Ledger what was hacked, I kind of was hacked, but the hack was happened because an ex-employee, a former employee, left his uh, source code access to uploading all the Ledger updates on his laptop. Some hacker got access to that laptop and exploited that and then uploaded to the GitHub um, a new kind of connection tool that you use to connect your ledger um, to, for example, your MetaMask or your ledger to PancakeSwap or your ledger to any of these other Web3 applications. And that updated tool like converted all the tokens that people were using to swap into the wallet of the hacker. I think he earned something around 400,000 US dollar with this hack. So congratulations to the hacker. Maybe you can do a beautiful donation now to poor people all over the world uh, because that's also very cool. If you are a cool hacker, like a cool hacker would do a donation now so yes hacker start to donate a little bit to those people <laughs> but ledger indeed solved everything uh, directly like it didn't take too much i think one or two hours and they found out about the leak and they uh, fixed it with a new update so everything is safe again so you can connect your ledger again to web3 applications to be very honest i was kind of really surprised that there were so many people using their ledger to connect it to web3 applications i use my hardware wallets ledger bitbox and any other of them just to store my hard-earned bitcoins it's like a long-term storage of my uh, store of values like bitcoin so i don't connect these ledgers to any applications i do understand if they would connect for example the ethereum um, to for example metamask and then you have a double security if you use your ledger but that would need to be a ledger where there's only a little bit of ethereum on but it would not be the same ledger that you have your bitcoins and all the other currencies on that you store for the long term so if you want to do it very safe you have like one or two maybe even three hardware wallets and one of those hardware wallets should never touch the internet should never touch any Web3 application, not MetaMask, not Uniswap, not PancakeSwap, nothing, nada, niente. That ledger should be in a cold storage in the place that never sees the light. And I'm not referring to a booty again, not your own booty and not anyone else's booty. I just refer to, for example, a safe or something where nobody can find it. Yeah, again, that would also be the booty probably, but <laughs> just make sure that one of those ledgers that you hold your long-term storage on never touches Web3 applications. If you have a separate ledger that holds some Ethereum and that you connect them to your MetaMask, so you have a double security, you can only send Ethereum or tokens uh, through MetaMask using your ledger as a double security, okay, I completely agree that you could do that. But please, never store your long-term storage on the same device that you're connecting to Web3 applications. That's not the way to do it. So that was the news for today. Let's quickly jump into the questions of the follower. The question for today, guys, came from a German person. I think the name was Card Chart Germany, as you can see here in the question. And he was asking, what makes you sure that if you exit Bitcoin at the bull market top, for example, into stable coins or into gold that I told you about, you know, you can use the link down below if you want to buy gold with Bitcoin. That's a beautiful company doing that in Singapore, providing you of its services. And he is asking now, why are you so sure that that won't go down? Like stable coins or the gold or any other exit strategy that you might have i'm not sure i'm never sure about that nobody can be sure about that but for me it's way safer than fiat currencies are you sure that euro will still exist are you sure that the dollar will still survive don't you see the dollar and the euro and all undergoing a shitload of inflation and making you poorer every day why do you still keep your euros or dollars on a bank account is my question. If you know that it's making you poorer every day, you are sure and you understand that that is happening, but still people hold it 
um, on their bank accounts? That's the same type of question. For me, the Bitcoin industry is the next step in the evolution of money. So for me, I believe fully that stable coins won't stop existing. I even think that more and more stable coins will start to exist. And yes, like I said a few times already, also stable coins built on the Bitcoin blockchain. I think there's already two uh, Bitcoin stable coins on the second layer liquid of the Bitcoin blockchain. So there is already stable coins there that you can use that is decentralized that I don't believe that will ever stop exist. Also USDT, USDC, all of these stable coins, maybe even DAI, they won't stop existing. We are just in the beginning of the complete change of the monetary system and these stable coins will be part of it. It is just your choice if you're going to use the stable coin that is from the community, from us, or you're going to use the central bank's digital currency, which is also probably a stable coin, but then again, an inflationary stable coin. So the CBDCs, they will tell you, ah, this is a stable coin, but it will give you the same inflation shit that you now have with your euros and dollars in physical money or cash money or on your bank account. But these crypto stable coins, in my honest opinion, are way safer. I trust the people behind the crypto stable coins more than I trust the people behind the fiat currency stable coin system. And that's probably the difference between me and many other people out in this world. They still trust those centralized entities and the coins that they are generating or printing out of thin air and calling it stable coins while they are undergoing a shitload of inflation. A lot of people still trust that. I chose not to trust that system anymore. I chose to start to trust the evolution of money, Bitcoin, and all the other cryptocurrency industry alternatives that are way better and probably created by people that are same-minded than me than all the other shit that we have already for the last couple of decades that I lived. I choose Bitcoin, blockchain, and by that mathematics over all the shit coins that are being printed out of thin air by centralized entities. That's how simple it is. So for me, the trust is there that these won't stop existing. Now, that was the answer to the question. Let's jump into the next part. The next part, guys, of course, is the inspirational part. And a couple of days ago, I talked about that you always need to push yourself. You need, you need to push yourself to wake up. You need to push yourself to go for your goals. The thing that I forgot to add is that if you're doing something that you really like, that you really love, that is really your passion, you don't even need to push yourself. That vision or that goal that will pull you, that will just pull you every day to wake up, that will just pull you every day to do what you love. If you're doing not what you love, yes, then you need to push yourself. Like last time, I was sick. That is not my normal condition. I was really sick and I was like, fuck it, push yourself, go out and make your video. A lot of people are waiting for your video. You need to go out. But that was not in a normal situation. I was sick. In a normal situation, I don't need to push myself to make these videos because this is my passion. I love to walk on the beach. I love to talk about Bitcoin blockchain and life. I love to see all these bikinis, booties and all that stuff while I'm doing this job. This <laughs> is just a beautiful job. I can't think of a better job at the moment. So for me, it's very important that you understand that pushing yourself is only necessary when you're doing something that really is not like your passion. The moment you start to do something that is really your passion, really your goal in life, when you find that, you don't need to push yourself anymore. You will be pulled every day towards that goal, towards that passion. So it's very important for everyone out there to find their passion, to find their goal in life. And from that moment, you will be sucked into this beautiful state of flow that will pull you towards your ultimate goals and yet passion that is really giving you that joyfulness every day. I think that's very important to understand, guys. That is the end of the video. Yes, I did record a beautiful video yesterday of the day trip we did with a boater. And yes, I had a boating accident. I lost all my ledgers on that boating accident. 
but you will see that video later i still need to edit that but i hope you enjoyed this video as well if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about all the other information i wish you an amazing friday of course also an amazing weekend i have a friend visiting at the moment so that's why i posted a little bit later yesterday and that's also why maybe in the weekend i will only do one ama and then it will be an english ama then that's like for everyone and that will probably happen then on sunday and not on saturday guys i hope you can understand that uh, i wish you again in a beautiful friday evening i will be probably going for a drink here at maya beach club again or maybe another place but hopefully see you tomorrow or the day after in that live again and if not see you monday thanks for watching i wish you a beautiful weekend bam